y'all saw the Intuition Tarot. It's a general reading. May or may not resonate with anyone. I hope that y'all like, share, and subscribe. This message is going to be for Gemini. This message is for you. Let's see what we have for Gemini. Gemini. What's going on with Gemini? You have Queen of Pentacles. Um, you're organized and stable person. The person you're thinking about is. Maybe they're offering you stability or you long to be stable. Or you're in that energy. You're working hard. Or the person you love is working hard. Vice versa, y'all. But... Uh, the Emperor in Reverse, like maturity and self-control, maybe the person you love uh, is immature, or you feel like they are. The Upright is the Emperor, the end-all, be-all person, and but they're not in that energy, or you're not. Why is that? Your inability to make decisions, an uh, internal battle. battle. You fit, you're afraid you're, you know, your effort's going to be wasted on this person. Why are you feeling that way, Gemini? Why is your efforts wasted? Because they're not in their emperor. They're not acting like somebody that can be respected or somebody that wants to move forward or somebody that's stable. You get the Hierophant, which means um, maybe they, they want everybody's approval. Maybe you are a side chick. Maybe you are a secret to everyone. Maybe they don't let anybody know that you're their partner. Why would they keep you a secret? Because they have, uh, they, you know, it's the fool. Uh, they want to be carefree. They don't want to have any responsibilities. They like a lot of options, seems like. Um, the fool is an unpredictable person. Free of responsibility. Does not like restrictions. They don't want you to restrict them. They want to come and go as they please. What else did Jim and I need to know? What else did Jim and I need to know? Two of Swords in reverse. Feel like you're going to move in the wrong direction if you move toward this person. Also, ten of wands are reversed. You're frustrated. You've been doing the same thing over and over. Maybe you take this person back over and over and over. And they just keep on doing the immature, irresponsible things. Because they're not acting like the emperor that they should be. Emperor card represents Aries. Maybe you got an Aries in your life doesn't have to be it's the lovers you're beautiful or they're beautiful they got all the attributes that you would want in a person and they could really be acting like a better person but maybe they're using their looks to get what they want or they think that they can get what they want from you by using their looks could be uh, two different people Maybe they won't uh, let people, you know, you got to make it, they got to make a decision between two. Maybe they're not wanting to. Maybe they're, you know, got two people or multiple people that interferes in the relationship. It does not allow them to move forward. Acting low by vibrational, it seems. Yeah, the universe is like, um, you know, they could, you're a very stable person, independent person. Universe is giving that to them, offering that on the silver platter. All the stability, uh, the high priestess, but you got to use your intuition. All the answers to what you need to know, maybe you don't know a lot about this person. 
You gotta trust your gut, okay? What's gonna go on with this person in the future if you don't move away? Wands. Oh, they're handsome and they're um they attract attention everywhere they go. And you know that. If they have a you know, they go out a lot. They have a lot of different friends or a lot of women chasing after them. Will of Fortune is reversed. Um you're not able to move forward this person because, you know, they're not stable enough for you to do that. They're not showing you enough. They're not giving you enough love, attention, support, or anything like that. My dogs. Yeah, my dogs just confirmed that. They want to play around. My dogs are playing. Maybe that is something you need to know. Oh, there's a lot of competition. Five of Wands. Yeah, a lot of competition with this person. You feel there's a lot of competition, conflict, always, every day, all day. Looks like this is a no-go, Gemini, just saying. Yes, we have. We have two of cups in reverse. You're going to probably separate, and you're going to have to end this. Because it's not going to go any further. It says, uh, divorce or separation, end of a love affair, jealousy, misunderstanding, love dies, a lover is unfaithful, and the other is unable to forgive and forget. Arguments jeopardize the relationship. The person with whom you are currently in a relationship is not your soulmate. This is not your person, okay? This is not your person. Gemini, you're better than that. What can we do? Gemini some advice on this person. Just wanted to come out. Uh, six of Wands. When you move away from this person, your dreams and plans will be fulfilled if you'll just move away. Yeah, and just get rid of them because you've done the work on yourself. You can stand on your two feet. And, uh, who knows, they're probably not supporting you. Look at that horse, it's looking back. This guy's all happy about everything. This horse is looking back. Maybe somebody's looking at you like, uh, you think you're all that. Well, I'm supposed to be all that because I'm the one that gets all the attention here, not you. I hope that's not the case for you, but obviously it is. And you have fear of, fear of failure. Maybe you think if you try to move forward... You're going to fail. It's the star card in reverse. You're dwelling on problems. A minor run of bad luck. Lost hope. Lack of motivation. Insecurity and self-doubt. You're in self-doubt about this. And I don't see how because, you know, this person's going to get you stuck. And you're going to start feeling self-conscious about yourself. And you're going to get in a rut and, you know, bottom out and... Don't ever let anybody take the power away from you. Nine of Pentacles. Your money and possessions are safe at this point. Maybe you'll have an uh, inheritance or something that's coming up. Which is good news. Rely on your instincts and research, okay? Don't be a fool. Don't be the fool. They're acting like the fool. Don't act like them. Do not uh, go along with anything stupid they're doing. And uh, take care of yourself. Love yourself the way you want somebody to love you, Gemini. Because they don't have your best interests at heart. Let's see what the Romance Angels has to say. What does Romance Angels have to say? Ooh. What can we tell Gemini for their best interest? This one wanted to flip out. It says romantic feelings in reverse. 
well, in the upright, it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. It's reversed. Maybe you need to explore why you think that you luck this person. Um, seems like they're a player to me. Seems like they go out and get a lot of attention. There's nothing wrong with being attractive. But if they're doing, you know, they're trying to make you feel uncomfortable in public or around people, um, like you're the side piece or you're the secret. Maybe they don't tell anybody about you. Maybe they don't. Is this your story? Let me know in the comments below. What else we got for our Gemini? That's good. Our Gemini. You have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Love yourself. Enjoy yourself. Go out and smell the roses. Or maybe that's telling you, uh, hello, what are you doing? Take care of yourself. Stop looking, listen, and pay attention. How about that? Maybe you'll figure it out if you haven't already. Let's get some on the kipper. Let's see what's going on. Gemini. What's going on for Gemini? Things are falling. Well, nothing wants to come out, Gemini. Let's see. Here we go. We have the pathway. You're on a journey, and you maybe you haven't quite made it, made or ended up where you want to, but you're on the right path. See the butterflies, and and you know. There's a light at the end here. You can reach that light. Just keep following the good path. Set your boundaries up. Don't allow anybody to treat you like shit, okay? Just don't. What about the person? What about Gemini's person? What about Gemini's person? Marriage in reverse. No, they're not planning on marrying you. They don't plan on the future with you. They don't plan on anything stable with you. Gemini, that's just for the moment. They're the player energy. And what is the advice for Gemini to do in the future? Let's get some advice for Gemini for the highest good of Gemini. We have a distant horizons. You've got all these dreams. Look at this. You've got all these dreams and you're anchored and you got all these dreams and if you just let go and just explore your dreams, there, there's probably things that you want to do in your life, your hopes, your, your dreams, things you want to pursue. Go pursue them. Don't let this person hold you back. It's like they're the anchor and they're keeping you stuck from going forward. If, you know, you release that you can fly. You can do anything you want to. But with this person, you're just going to be stuck. Started out on the right path. You can get back there again. This person's intentions are no good. Gemini. Y'all, I try not to take any card but what flips out. That way I know it's true advice for y'all. And there's the privileged lady. Maybe you're the privileged lady. You know, you come from a good background. Uh, you know your worth. You've worked very hard. You're stable. You're mature. You don't have to put up with just anybody. And maybe you just thought you saw the good in them, but then... The more you're with this person, the more you know. All that's dwindling down. What about the privileged lady? Despair. Poverty. They're going to put you in despair. They're going to make you feel like every all your efforts have went to crap. Because 
you know, you're not going to get anywhere with them. You're going to feel left out in the cold, in despair, not knowing where to turn or what to do. Poverty. Because, you know, you went places for this person that nobody else has. You put yourself at the bottom. Poverty, to me, is like, you know, maybe you did things for them that you were not accustomed to doing. And y'all know what I'm talking about. And they put you down to the lowest you've ever been. But you can get out of it. How can they get out of it? How can Jim and I get out of this situation? What's advice for Jim and I to get out of this situation? Instead of them coming up to your level, which is privileged, privileged lady, somebody's got their shit together, they've drugged you down to their level. Oh, they come in like the wealthy man. It was in reverse. They're not wealthy. They're not stable. See this guy? Mr. Player come in as a wealthy man like he knew what the fuck he was doing and that he had his shit together and he didn't. He's in reverse. And you got false person. Maybe there's things that you don't know. Maybe things turning out differently. This is reverse. This come out reverse. Uh... No, they're not being false. They're sh showing you exactly who the hell they really are. They showed you exactly who they are. And you take it as you want. This person showed you who they really are. They've got you to poverty, poverty level. They're taking you down. Sis, is that what you want? All right, y'all. I hope this resonates. And I uh, hope that you take some advice to get rid of this asshole. Thank you for watching. Salt Intuition Tarot. Like, share, subscribe.